Okay, so let's look at raising invoices on Sage. So create an invoice on Sage, posting it to Sage, printing off the invoice. <clears throat> so there is an invoice in module that we need to go to, but it's not found down the bottom here. It's actually found on the top ribbon. So if you click on modules, then click on invoicing, you'll get this screen appear. Once again, it looks very similar to the other modules we looked at so far in this course. We have a list of all the invoices being created on Sage, and we have some icons at the top here. So in this first column, you have invoice number. So these are all the invoice numbers on Sage. Then it says type. So we have invoices, and we have credit notes. You then have an option to print update and some reports and we'll look at these a bit later on. So how do you create an invoice on Sage? Well, click new and you'll have this box appear. This box is a template of an actual invoice. And so the def details at the top here, the first drop down box, you can choose invoice or credit note. So let's do an invoice. You then get to choose the format of the invoice, being a service invoice or a product invoice. Now we'll do service first because the product invoices get a bit more complicated and 80-90% of people watching these videos will use this service invoice format. Put the date of the invoice in, so let's do the 5th or the 6th. The account reference, so the customer that we are invoicing, click on the drop down list and find them. Or if you know the their reference, you can just type it in here. So let's do cash, cash and credit card sales. Let's click on that. Invoice number, it says auto number and it'll do this automatically. Now what auto number will do, will just do the next number along to the last invoice you did. So the last invoice we did was invoice 84 down the bottom here. So if, if we leave this as auto number, it will create this invoice as invoice 85. If we have our own invoicing system, um, say we do 00 and we're on, do triple O and we're on invoice 500, we can type that in there and once we save the next invoice we create will also be auto number and it will do triple O five O one. So it will just add on from your system you already have in place. You can put a an order number in if you have one in there. Now click on the details. This box will appear, click that this little arrow. Um you need to type something in first. So say it was a monitor, let's put in monitor click this arrow. You can then put a uh, description and details in. So let's do monitor Dell L500. And do the same underneath. Obviously you can put what you like in these boxes and make them as descriptive as you want to. This is just an example. You do the quantity, the unit price, so say it's 500, and say this customer bought two. You can put a discount in, and it'll work out your VAT automatically. It also asks for, asks for posting details, so a nominal code to post this transaction to, and this will be the default that we have set up for this customer, um, the cash cash and credit sales I think it was so their default is 4002 that's why that has come up which is South Scotland the default tax code has come up click OK and this will all be aut automatically put in from those boxes that we used you don't have to click this arrow on the next invoice I'll just show you how to fill these boxes in and you still get the same totals obviously it's all done for you so let's click save and you'll see that invoice 500 is now here cash and credit sales for 1195 that is 
thousand pound plus the VAT. If we want to edit this invoice, we can click this new slash edit button, or we can just double click and edit this invoice. If we want to delete it, we can just highlight the invoice, click delete, click yes, and it will be gone. Even though we raise an invoice on Sage, it won't be posted to the customer ledger until we click the update button. You'll see one of these columns is posted and it either says yes or has a blank. So all these invoices have been posted to Sage, save these ones. So once we've raised invoices and we've printed them off and are happy with them, what we then do is click update, click OK. We don't want to print the update ledgers off, it's just some information telling you what's been updated. We can just click preview or we can save it to file. Let's click OK. May take a little while. And there we go, so it shows you what has been updated on the ledgers. And these now have a yes next to them. So John Smith Studios, which is here, 25th of the 6th, 2010, invoice 84. If we go to customers, John Smith Studios, click on activity, outstanding, there it is, invoice 84. 21432 outstanding on his account that wouldn't have showed on there until it was posted now the reason why you manually have to post these invoices onto sage by clicking update is because once these invoices are posted you can't edit them so if I try to edit this one now it just won't let me and it won't if I do manage to edit anything on these invoices it won't update it in the sales and ledger so it's important that you create invoices and then you print them off and check that the details are all correct before you update the ledgers because um, you can't edit the invoices then the way around that is if you update your ledgers you'll need to raise a credit note to oppose the invoice that you raised incorrectly then raise a new invoice so it's a bit time consuming so I like to raise all my invoices first print them off check through them make sure they're okay and then update the ledgers when I'm absolutely satisfied that the invoices are correct